افهم انت كل شويه ترمي عليا ورق ليه بقول لك يا سيدي دلوقتي في حاجه مش عارفه اظبطها من الصبح هحاول اعملها طب انت شغال على ايه يمكن انا اعرف اساعدك قصه السلطان انا ليك اسمه قلاون طب ما تقول كده من الصبح يا ابني انا اوريدي دارسه شويه حاجات عنه وممكن اساعدك اقول لك افكار طب يا ريت يعني فينك من الصبح ارين طيب يلا انا هوريك This short film is to tell the story of a Mamluk's rise to power and the story of how the first and the greatest complex building at the time came to life. It all began one day when Salih Nigm al-Din Ayyub, the Ayyubi Sultan of Egypt, was trying to form an army to fight against the Crusades. His army was made up of the specially trained Mamluks that he bought at the marketplace. Over there, at the marketplace, He talked to a merchant about recruiting Mamluks for his army. The merchant showed him some of the most powerful men, but only one caught his attention. This Mamluk was Qalawun. And even though Qalawun cost a thousand dinars, very expensive at the time, he was nicknamed Al-Alfi, Salih Ayyub bought him anyway because of the power, strength, and smart characteristics he demonstrated. His full name was Saif al-Din Qalawun, born in Cairo in 1222. He gained status in the army as he defeated the enemy. Even though Salih Ayyub was a great and powerful leader to his army, unfortunately, he passed away. After he passed, Shagrat al-Durr, his wife, came to power, but as a woman, she couldn't rule by herself. So she married Aybak and they ruled together. But after their death, Qutuz came to power and ruled. After Qutuz died, Babers came to power and under his reign, Qalawun rose to his peak to lead the Egyptian army. He led the army through many wars against the Crusades and he won all of the wars. During a trip to Damascus, Qalawun got very sick to the point that he was admitted to Al Nuri Hospital built by Nur al Din al Zain. After he woke up, he was very impressed by what he saw. It was the first time that he saw such a project that helped the people. It was a true philanthropist idea. So he vowed to himself that as soon as he went back to Egypt, he would build something similar to help the people of Egypt. After Babers died, his son Badr al-Din was supposed to rule, but since he was very young, Qalawun thought that he couldn't rule, so he became the great Sultan of Egypt. In order for Qalawun to have his vision come to life, he hired an architect called Alam al-Din Sangar. And since Qalawun is a very decent and kind person, he bought the land from the princess. Sitt al-Mulk, the daughter of Al-Aziz al-Fatimi and the rightful heir to the area of Bain al-Qasrin. Later on, Sangar hired the builders and they went to work as soon as possible. Do you understand how your story is going? Yes, it's a war. I mean, I really want to know more about it. What do you do in the building? برضو متعب قوي معلش ماشي بص يا ستي البيلدينج بتاعه كان متقسم ثلاث حاجات كولوونز كومبلكس از ون اوف ذا موست امبورتنت اسلامك مونيمنتس ان ايجيبت ات انكلودز ا موزوليوم ا مدرسه اند ا برمارستان It was built from 683 to 684 in Al-Mu'izz Street in the area of Bain al-Qasrain. The plan shows a great corridor that separates the entry from its components. The back part of the plan does not exist anymore. The main elevation of the building is 67 meters long and 20 meters high. It is made of stone with vertical arched recesses covering from the top to the bottom. They are made by marble piers. The window bays are typical Bahari Mamluki. The facade is covered in inscriptions written in Thuluth. 
The carvings show the name of the builder and the date. It has a horseshoe arched entrance surrounded by two large Corinthian columns. It's topped by a semicircular niche with three windows. It leads to a great passageway, a threshold to the complex. The vestibule is 34 meters high and 4 meters wide. It is overlooked by the mausoleum and the school. The mausoleum is considered the second most beautiful mausoleum in the world after the Taj Mahal. It's shaped like a semi-square, topped with a dome supported by four piers and four columns made of pink granite and linked together by wooden ties. The decorations were stuck to the columns using chewing gum in order to make the smell pleasant. The dome was mounted on an octagonal neck, which was the transition during the Bahari Mamluk era. The coffin is in the middle, below the dome. It's surrounded by wooden arcs with Kufi inscriptions. Al Nasr Kalawon was not buried in his mausoleum, but his son Al Mansur Muhammad was buried there. The mihrab is considered the beautiful one, more than the one in the madrasa. It's a semicircular niche with three huge columns on each side, covered with a small marble column and biomorphic decorations. The decorations of the interior include Kufi inscriptions, biomorphic drawings, and geometric patterns. The column capitals are gilded. The windows are covered with stained glass. This expresses Islamic architecture. The mausoleum has an outdoor extension covered with six domes, but part of the roof is a tapered vault and part is open to the sky. The exterior wall of the mausoleum is also covered with biomorphic drawings and geometric patterns faced with a stained glass, typical Bahari Mamluki arches. On the left of the passage, there is the madrasa. The madrasa has four iwans surrounding a sahan. The main one is the southeast iwan, also known as iwan al-Qibla. It is filled with pink granite columns topped with wooden bars that lay on the tiles. The mihrab is smaller than the one in the mausoleum, surrounded by a column from each side. It is also a semicircular niche with gilded decorations, biomorphic and geometric patterns along with small columns. The roof is flat and the middle tile is extended to strengthen the importance of the mihrab and to open windows for ventilation. Two other iwans are smaller and have less decorations. The northwest iwan contains a door it leads to a ladder connecting the Iwan to upper chambers. It also contains decorations like the Iwan al qubla The final part of the complex, which remains today only partly, is the Birmaristan or hospital. There are Iwans and a Saltabil, a water fountain. It is surrounded by vaulted corridors. And it overlooks the mausoleum dome and the great minaret. The minaret consists of three levels. The first two levels have a square base with a horseshoe arches, windows and decorations. At the third level, it's cylindrical with geometrical pattern. On the other side of the complex, there lies the mausoleum of Saleh Ayyub, the buyer of Kolawun. And next to Kolawun's complex lies his son Al Mansur Muhammad's mausoleum and madrasa. And this is the story of how the great ruler Al Nasir Saif al Din Qalawun al Salhi al Alfi came to power and created the greatest complex building.